What it do, homies? It's your boy, David. I'm back today. We back with some Civil War. This time we're checking out Admiral Over the Oceans. I was down there and I was reading kind of like the uh, history down here. There's a whole lot of information to kind of take in, um, but it's about the winning the battle, you know, between Napoleon or the French for the invasion of Britain against the uh, the Royal Navy. Uh, one thing that I found interesting down here is that they said because the Royal Navy was so big that, you know, they lacked incompetent, uh, they lacked competent leaders. Uh, but one of the admirals, Horatio Nelson, Right. He ended up dying. It looks like he got shot by one of the French. But when I was reading this, I it, it's done. It, it dawned upon me for my anime fans just how much uh, the anime One Piece borrows from naval history. OK, now history is not my strong point and I have no idea. That's pretty cool. But anyways, let's go ahead and shut up and turn. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that. I appreciate, I, I didn't expect these videos to be performing. I mean, I won't say well, but they are performing very decently. I really appreciate everybody that's coming up the show, uh, coming up and watching these. Anyways, let's shut up and turn it up now. There must be a movie about Horatio. I wouldn't mind watching that. That's how you start off a song. I love the way that this opened up, right? We're talking about the ocean here. Wow. Wild waves, cascading whirlpools, destruction, uh, uh, cannons blasting each other, ships battling and stuff, right? This ain't no this ain't no playground out here. So I love that he kind of just opened up with the what, right? To kind of give you that sense of of, of adventure and, and just, just really, really hype energy. Okay. You know, that's kind of scary almost, right? Because I feel like, you know, battles on land, you know, even though there's like a big, huge, you know, um, um, you know, you, you see near land and for the most part, I feel like no matter how chaotic it gets, you could some somehow kind of find your bearings or find something to kind of hide behind. Right. But when you're on the Navy, right, shots can come from anywhere. And I think when it comes to like marksmanship in the water, that's scary stuff because anything, the wind can change all you got, all these different type of elements. Right. And we have Horatio here, who apparently was the master of the fleet, which means his tech, his tactics must have been very, very good. That's that's very difficult on water to begin with. So I feel like in order to get a true, a true understanding of Horatio, I got to see a movie. I got to see with my eyes what type of what type of tactics this man was employing. Because on the water, like how how good with this guy? Obviously good enough. We got songs and poems and, and stuff written about him. Let's go. Let's. Okay. Message received. As I just said that, that I need to see something because I didn't understand his genius. Well, he told me that's because I didn't read the history book, Dave. That's what you got to do. What are you doing listening to Civil War? <laughs> that was well-timed. Be 
Ok. I love the cadence in this. The catchy hook. They're gonna show us a video, maybe a movie. Surely there's a movie. Surely there's a movie made by for for Horatio. They must show something here. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I I gotta see it now. I don't know. You know these these times right here. Um, these times right. I know we do naval warfare still. You know, honestly, I don't even know how much of the warfare that we do conduct if we do um is on the water. You know, these days nowadays everybody just ready to launch a nuke and just end it all. You know what I mean? But um. I just want to see it, right? Because these are just these these are boats, right? They take time to maneuver. Most of the time, you have to have some foresight, right? You got to try to predict your enemy's movements. You got to try to predict the wind. Make sure the boats are not crashing against each other, flanking. How much ammunition do each of these boats have? There's so much going on, so much. And Horatio just commanded it all like the bad dude he is, right? That's what it took. It took a sniper, right? Because you couldn't get close to him. My God, come on now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll pause doing a solo. Sorry. that solo kind of love how it's kind of arping up and down almost kind of give you like a uh a, a, a sense of his victories and when it came back down he just got back up right because they, they, that's how the solo did like he climbed back up he suffered a loss but then came back up even greater and then the second part of that solo kind of gives you that sense of of rushing into battle and just being victorious right we got some we got some very victory uh uh honor and stuff like that kind of chord progressions going on or at least the feeling that you're getting and i said it before earlier i really love the cadence here admiral of the ocean is catchy So here's 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 the very interesting thing that I've that I've come to learn when it comes to like civil war and sabotage because the interesting thing is and this is this is actually kind of like a gift or something that that they've given me and I'm sorry bro my eyes have been a long day at work um is that my dad is a history buff like he likes history I don't know how much naval history he does um but any other time like anybody kind of brings up history and stuff right it's fun because now i'm kind of able to partially partake and everything so it's 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 almost like civil war and sabaton are just increasing my history knowledge but in a fun way because it doesn't feel like learning right they're just making it so epic and i think that's the true gift that they're giving us right true learning in such an awesome format right <laughs> all right y'all that's the end of this video if you enjoyed the content leave a like and subscribe dave's out